Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in um, this video, I'll be diving into a comparative overview of uh, digital and analog limiting, featuring um, a shootout among five uh, mushroom limiters. So um, for this shootout, I'll be using my own uh, rock track I've created, uh, recorded, mixed, and mastered. And I'm going to run this uh, track uh, through each of these five limiters. And I'm going to set the output levels as close as uh, uh, possible. And then we can hear the uh, distant impact uh, each limiter has on the sound. So for today's comparison, the digital limiters uh, in the lineup are Fab Filter Pro L2, Isotope uh, Maximizer, uh, DMG Limitless, uh, AOM uh, Invisible Limiter 3, and from the analog side, uh, I've got this uh, uh, lull uh, from Hum Audio. So, before we start, uh, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmustering.com and uh, enjoy and uh, receive your 50% uh, discount on your first order. And I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Um, your support um, really um, uh, helps me to create more content. So, and now, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> In the realm of audio mastering, the debate between uh, analog and di digital limiting centers around the distinct uh, characteristics each brings to the sound. Here's a comparative uh, overview. Analog limiting, richness and musicality. Analog limiters are known for adding a certain warmth and musicality to the sound. They tend to introduce pleasing harmonic distortions and a full smooth sound, which can be particularly appealing in the genres like jazz and uh, classical music or for um, projects uh, seeking a vintage sound. Workflow benefits. Working with uh, analog hardware offers hands-on control, which some engineers find more intuitive and faster for dialing in the uh, perfect settings. Disadvantages. Analog uh, limiters have uh, a slight disadvantage due to the time delay in their circuits. This can affect the response time to signal peaks compared to digital limiters. In the case of LAL from HUM Audio, one of its standout features is its uh, fully analog 0.2 milliseconds delay line, enabling a look-ahead ability. Mm, this allows the detection circuit to react swiftly to even the fastest peaks, ensuring effective limiting with the minimal side effects while uh, preserving sound quality. Digital limiting. Precision and uh, transparency. Digital limiters provide a high level of precision and uh, transparency. They are less likely to color the mix offering a pristine uh, result that is especially favored in a genres like electronic dance music. Look ahead function. A significant uh, advantage of digital limiters is their look ahead function. This allows them to analyze the signal before processing, enabling complete brick wall limiting and more effective control of picks making them suitable for creating a loud yet transparent master. Cost-effectiveness and uh, convenience. Digital plugins are generally more affordable than analog 
hardware. And of uh, the convenience of easy settings, recall, and uh, experimentation. And now, I'm going to test four digital and one analog limiter. Each of these limiters has its uh, strengths and might be preferred in different uh, scenarios, depending on the specific needs of the audio material or the preferences of the engineer. For instance, if you need multiple uh, control, DMG Limitless could be the best option. While for maximum transparency, AOM's Invisible Limiter or Fab Filter Pro L2 might be ideal. The Isotop Ozone Maximizer is a great all-rounder. And uh, LAL from HUM Audio might offer unique features or sound characteristics that the others don't. So, and now, let's take a listen. <laughs>
Every 